This is how you can make a lock and an unlock command for your discord.js version 14 bot, so let's go ahead and get started. We're going to start off by going to moderation, and we can go ahead and create lock.js. In here, we can do const slash command builder, and then we can do equals require, and in here we'll do at discord.js slash builders, just like that. Then we can say const embed builder and permissions bit field and we will do equals require and we'll get our discord.js just like that we can say module.exports equals we can open this up we'll say data new slash command builder we can do dot set name in here we're going to say lock and then we can do dot set description and in here this locks a given channel just like that we can then come down here and do add channel option we can do option arrow function option dot set name in here we can do channel and then we can do dot set description and we can say the channel you want to lock and we can do dot add channel types and we'll do channel type dot guild text just like that and we can do dot set required and we will pass in true and we can add a comma we can do async execute and we will do interaction and then we can go ahead and open this up now one more thing it did automatically put channel type right here i'm going to go ahead and remove that and then right here we can do channel type just like that in here we're going to make our permissions check so we can do if no interaction dot member dot permissions dot has then we can do permissions bit field dot flags dot manage channels then we can just return with interaction dot reply and we'll say content and then we can say you don't have permissions to execute this command just like that and then we can add a comma and we can do infermal so we can do e-p-h-e-m-e-r-a-l and that will be true and we can get our channel so we can do let channel equals interaction not options dot get channel and we will get our channel just like that and we can come down here and say channel dot permission overwrite dot create and we'll do interaction dot guild dot id and in here we can do send messages and we will do false just like that then we can come down here and make an embed so we can do const embed equals new embed builder and we can do dot set color and that is going to be blue then we can do dot set description and in here we can do our white check mark just like that and we will say channel has been locked just like that and then we can go ahead and send this so we can do a wait interaction dot reply and we will pass in our embed just like this all right so with that we are done with the lock.js now we can actually go ahead and create the unlock.js so we can go ahead and copy all of this and we can go ahead and go to moderation and we'll do unlock.js go ahead and paste it in here we'll change this to unlock in here we can say this unlocks a given channel and right here we can say unlock everything else is good but we're going to go ahead and change send messages to true lastly we can go ahead and change this to unlocked just like that with that we are actually done with the unlock and lock commands so we can go ahead and restart the bot and test this out all right so now that we're in the discord server it's important that you get your permissions correctly so i'm going to go into the channel permissions of the channel i'm going to be testing this in and we're going to go to permissions and it's important that the at everyone for send messages is set to neutral right here it can be set to true or false because the bot's going to change that eventually but what really matters is when you have a community role this cannot have anything else this has to be neutral because what's going to happen is the bot is going to change the permissions of the at everyone role to lock and unlock it so if you have a verified role that automatically allows people to send messages in the channel then that is going to prohibit the bot from actually locking the channel all right so now we can go ahead and run slash lock just like this we can go ahead and get our channel and that is going to be esky command testing just like that it's going to say esky command testing has been locked if we go over onto my alt account as you can see it is not going to allow me to send any messages in the channel but if i were to go to a different channel that is unlocked as you can see it is going to allow me to send messages here all right, so now we can go ahead and run our unlock command just like this and we can pass in the esky command testing channel and as you can see it's going to say that the channel has been unlocked and if we pull over the alt i am now able to send messages just like that now this is going to work for any other channel as you can see i think this channel is locked if we just run unlock and we pass in our esky command emojis just like that as you can see now i can send messages in this channel so that's how you can code in unlock and lock command for your discord.js version 14 bot if you need any help go ahead and join the server in the description below and our staff will be able to help you out and with that i will see you guys in the next video